All right, guys, so this is what you see when you first start Photoshop. So the first thing that you do is create new, go down to pixels and a good width and height is 5,000 by 4,000 and you can crop it from there. So this is a good resolution size. So you have a lot of pixels to work with. All right, so you want 300 resolution for the best quality. All right, so we're gonna go with RBG color and 8-bit. Um, I like to use a custom color at 50% gray uh, because I like the contrast more than just white. And the color profile is gonna be sRGB and you can create your new file. Let's go to edit preferences and general. All right, so in the general tab, we're gonna go to interface and I like to work with a dark color just so it has some contrast. I can see better than I can see with lighter colors. So I guess that's a personal preference. I'm gonna go ahead and go to performance and make sure my history states are at 100 and then go to scratch disks. I put this on an SSD. It's important to have a lot of free space for this. So if you have a good hard drive that has a lot of space, uh, go ahead and put it on that and it will make things a lot faster. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and click skip transform when placing, uh, and that'll help me to place more things. All right, so right away, I'm gonna to go to file, save as, just to have a good save. And I'm gonna make sure that's on a TIFF file. If your files get too big, you're gonna to want to go to a large document format, uh, PSB for those really, really big files. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a TIFF file and press OK. Now it's saved, and whenever you go Control S, it will automatically save it. So if you want this to be two rows, you just press this. I like it like that. So your layout probably looks a little bit different from this. So I'm gonna go Window, and you can choose what you have over on this side. So I'm going to activate the Navigator and just put the nav navigator here. I do want the brushes over here. So what I like to use is the color and then go right here and I like to use the color wheel. So it gives me more uh, control of what I need. One one more thing I'm gonna go through is my key bindings. Uh, so, so the key binds are pretty important to me because instead of having everything all spread out, I have it all next to my hand. Uh, so the, the spot healing tool, I use this a lot. So I put it on A. The pin tool, uh, I, I rebind to S. Decrease brush size and increase brush size will be Q and W. Uh, I, I switch this uh, to C, uh, switch foreground and background colors. The brush tool is X. So that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of just the same, but I wanted all the tools that I use the most like right next to my hand so I can work a little bit faster. All right, guys. So since we have this canvas, uh, we can start to work on it a little bit. And then later on, we can go ahead and crop it to what we need. So there's all these different cropping tools. You can change it. You can go to the ratio. You can change the ratio or you can go to this one and just kind of skew it into the place that you want. But for now, we're just gonna work on the canvas that we already have. All right, so a few basic things are gonna be Z to zoom, space to move your canvas around, R to rotate your canvas. You can reset the view there. So if you have something in your scene, you can control T to move it around and skew it. Shift to skew this way. Control to change perspective on one point. Or you can right click, you can go scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective. So if I press perspective, um, it will do both sides for me. That is how you transform things. All right. so. We'll go into the brush, the brushes. Uh, the, the brush I use most is gonna be soft round and you can change that to hard to get a different kind of brush. And there's all kinds of different types of brushes. Uh, 
that you can download. All right, guys, so on the right, you'll see layers, channels, path. All right, so we're gonna work with our layers. So this layer, layer one, um, it's gonna be a normal blending mode. So if you click this, this is, these are all the different types of blending mode that you can have on one of your layers. This is the opacity. And if you slide it over, it will get lighter. And it, if it's at 100%, it's all the way solid. Uh, same with fill, it just acts a little differently with different types of blending modes. So uh, things you wanna use fill with are like color dodge, mostly color dodge and linear dodge. So with this layer selected, uh, we can go to FX and use all these different things. You can um, use a drop shadow and it will give you a drop shadow. All right, so this next one, so this next one will be add a layer mask. So we'll add this layer mask right here. If it's white, the layer is revealed. And if it's black, say I paint on the layer mask, if I switch to the layer mask and paint black, it is masked out. Um, so you can mask out things like this without having to erase and it's a very powerful tool. So you can also go back and paint with white and reveal your layer again. So instead of erasing it, it's non-destructive. So you can edit something without completely messing up what you had before. And it's a good tool to use. Okay, so the next one's gonna be an adjustment layer. These are all different kinds of adjustment layers. Um, we'll be using a, a lot of these. Uh, so I'll just give you an example. So I picked hue and saturation. All right, so this uh, button right here, is gonna be a clipping button. So you wanna clip this to the layer below. So these are this is how layers work in Photoshop. So we have the circle layer and the hue and saturation adjustment layer is clipped to this. So it only affects what it's clipped to. Or you can press Alt or Option and go in between the layers and clip it like that. All right, so I'm just gonna give you an example. Colorize, I'm gonna actually go down so it has some color in it because it was completely white. I'm gonna go up in the saturation and you can change the hue as much as you want to. And we'll go over more adjustment layers throughout the tutorial. All right, so this next one's gonna be a create a new group. So if I have two layers and shift click both of them, create new group, it will group those two layers. All right, this one's gonna be create new layer. All right, if I press that while the group is open and I have it selected, it will go straight into that group. If I don't have a group and press it, it will just make a new one. And you can create as many layers as you want to. And if you want to move it, you just move the layers. And trash can is pretty simple. You just delete or you can press delete on your keyboard and it'll delete it. All right, so that's pretty much the basics of Photoshop, and we'll go through a lot more in depth as the tutorial goes along. So we're going to jump into the next part of the series.